Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about extruded surfaces. Let's start with a sketch. Right-click, Create Sketch. For this lesson, I'm going to use the Spline tool. And let's drop a few spline points. Right-click and select to end the spline. Now let's apply some dimensions. 20 millimeters here. And 50 millimeters here. OK. Let's put 75 millimeters here. And this dimension, 15 millimeters, OK. Lastly, let's shift select this point and the center point and add a coincident relation. Our spline is fully defined. Let's accept these changes and exit our sketch. OK, let's activate the Surfaces tab and activate the Extruded Surface tool. The Property Manager is pretty similar to the Extrude Feature Property Manager that we practiced in Volume 1 of this course. Under From, we can select a few options, Sketch Plane, Surface, Vertex, or Offset. For this example, for Direction 1, I'm going to use a blind extrude of 30 millimeters distance. Same specifications for Direction 2 as well. Selected Contours. Let's click the chevrons to open this section. I'll review that in just a second. For now, let's click OK. And let's create a second sketch on the top plane. Normal 2 view. I'll drop a couple circles here. Right click, select. Now I want to create two horizontal lines that are coincident to the small circle. Let's activate the line tool. When I move between the two circles, I don't have any feedback next to the cursor. Let's scratch the small circle. Now I've got some feedback. And let's touch the larger circle. Click and create our first line. And our second line. A third line. Right click and select to end the line tool. Now let's use the trim tool. The trim to closest options already pre-selected. And that's the trim method I want anyway. Now let's apply some dimensions and relations. Let's select these three points here and add a horizontal relation. A reminder that the shorter red arrow indicates the horizontal direction, and the longer red arrow indicates the vertical direction. Now let's apply some dimensions. I'm going to give this circle an 18 millimeter radius. OK. And this arc, let's give it a 10 millimeter radius. The distance from this point to the origin is going to be 15 millimeters. OK. And the distance from this center point. Remember, when you move over a point that's already got a dimension line attached, you need to left click when you see the yellow dot. This dimension is going to be 35 millimeters. And accept. Now our sketch is fully defined. Let's exit. Take an isometric view. Activate the extruded surface command now. The end condition, let's keep it blind for a depth of 20 millimeters. The second direction, I'm looking for the second surface to fully intersect the full surface. Let's click OK. And here is our extruded surface. Now let's check out how the selected contours option works. We'll create a new document. Now we'll create a sketch on the front plane. Let's activate the Spline tool. And right-click and select to close the spline. Activate the Rectangle tool now. And let's drop a rectangle about here. Let's exit the sketch. Isometric view. Activate the Extruded Surface command now. Now let's go down to the Selected Contour section. I'm going to select this first contour, and here's a preview. If you happen to select a second contour by mistake, you can just select, right click, and delete, and OK for now. And here's just a very simple example of the complexity that the selected contours option can make available to you. I'm saving my part now. I'm going to call it L02 and save it in the exercise folder. 
Lesson 2, and click Save. And this concludes our lesson about the extruded surface command. This is a tool we'll be coming back to frequently in this course.